Good evening, guys. Mabuhay, Philippines. Mabuhay, everyone. Good morning and good evening to all over the world. Welcome back to Pageant Trend. This is Jay hosting the live interview with one of our, uh, our, the candidates of uh, Mr. Grand Philippines 2022. Before we start, I would like to um, ex express my gratitude and, of course, thanks to the National Director of uh, the Mr. Grand Philippines uh, 2022, Sir Mark, the, um, uh, Sir Mark Alvero, for giving us the opportunity to uh, interview their candidates for this um, uh, Mr. Grand Philippines 2022. And of course, um, uh, if you are new to our uh, channel or to our Facebook page, don't forget to follow or click the follow and also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Pageant Trend. And also we have our Instagram account, just search at Pageant Trend Official. And our TikTok account, uh, just search at uh, Pageant Trend Official also. And uh, um, uh, of course, uh, before we start again, um, we'll be having, uh, we'll be joining um, the fi five candidates of uh, Mr. Grand Philippines 2022. So if you have questions, uh, you may comment down below. And also, uh, we'll be reading it uh, during this live streaming. And uh, disclaimer, we will not be entertaining some political questions. And you may ask anything about our guests. Uh, it could be either personal or, or anything about them or, of, of course, about their journey. So you may um, comment down below. And also, if you, if you want to get a um, shout out, of course, you may um, state your place where you are, of course. And uh, ayan. So before... Let's start our um, um, program for, to, for tonight. So, so our first guest, uh, he is uh, representing um, uh, Cavite. This, this all welcome, guys. Uh, Christian de los Santos. Hi, Christian. All right, I think uh, Christian is having a technical problem. Uh, problem. Christian, hello. Hello. All right. Hello, Christian. Welcome back to Pageant Trend. <laughs> Hi, Jay. How are you? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm good. And for everyone who's watching, I'm Christian Carlo de los Santos. I'm representing Cavite. And I am a, I'm Andrew, I'm, I am a business owner. I am a content creator. Um, I create contents about um, travel, lifestyle. I have cooking shows, and I do con I do videos about fitness motivation. All right, thank you so much, Christian. And balikang kita later on. Okay, let's call our next guest for tonight's live streaming. Uh, he is representing from Cebu. Let's all welcome Jeff Castro. Hi, Jeff. Hi, good evening everyone. I am Jeff Castro, 21, representing the Queen City of the South, Cebu City. I am a psychology major and I am a mental health advocate. And I also uh, advocate for mental health awareness and I am a plant people. Wow, thank you so much and welcome to Pageant Trend. Thank you. Jeff. All right, so balikang kita later on, Jeff. Well, let's Welcome our next guest here at Pageant Trend, and uh, he is uh, representing his hometown, Batangas. Uh, let's welcome RC. Hi, Hi, RC. Hi. Hello, everyone. I am Ryusham C. Kashap, but you can call me RC. I am from Batangas, and I am very proud to represent my province. Uh, I am a serial hobbyist. I don't only have titles in male pageants, I, I've i also won a Barako Gay pageant before. Mm -hmm. And I also have no sense of sarcasm. All right. Thank you so much, RC. And uh, let's welcome our next guest for, to, for tonight's live streaming here at Pageant Trend. He is uh, representing Zambales. Let's welcome Jasper Manalang. Hi, Jasper. Hi, Sir Jay. How are you? Okay. Hello, our viewers. Um, I am Jasper Manalang, 20 years old. 
I'm currently studying at Gordon College, taking up a Bachelor of Arts in Communication. And I am an advocate of equitable quality education. Yeah. Nice. Uh, and uh, welcome. Um, yung ating ano, last guest, so wala pa, we're still waiting for Jamwell, and he is all the way from uh, Sikihor, so sana makahabo siya. And of course, please, please guys, don't forget to share this live streaming so that we can have more viewers to come, and also okay. I'll be accepting your questions okay. to our guests, uh, so for the meantime, I'll be asking the boys. Uh, Alright, so guys, how are you right after, um, you know? Um, a vigorous activities with your uh, Mr. Grand Philippines journey. And let's start with Jasper. How are you? I'm, I'm sorry, sir. What's, um, what's your question? Bob? How are you right after a vigorous activities, um, a various activities of Mr. Grand Philippines, like media um, interviews? So, how is it? Actually, sir, um, at the start of um, the activities last July, I think. So it's kind of tiring, but at the same time, I'm happy since I get to um, know some of my co-candidates. And it was just um, fulfilling in a way na, um, naging, na marerepresent ko yung Sambales on the mm -hmm. national stage for the first time. And since it's my first national pageant. Alright. Thank you so much. And let's how about you, Mr. RC? Same question. Uh, it's been a fun ride. Uh, since this is also my first national pageant, I've also learned a lot, especially from the photographers and the media media people that mm -hmm. has been with us in our journey. And it's been a learning opportunity for me. And I've been enjoying the company of everyone. And enjoying the moments that we have thank you so much and uh, let's call on jeff yes same din sa kanila um this is my first national pageant so i'm quite enjoying everything and i'm quite excited of what's ahead and i'm kind of really excited if, about the challenges that i'm going to you know face in this competition and i am Really much excited to, to get to know more my brothers and to get to know more people from different um, parts of the Philippines. Thank you so much, Chef. And how about you, Christian? Hey, um, I'm also excited as well. Pero um, for the past few days, um, I like that we're having a lot of exposure. Kasi um, natitrain din kami on public speaking and how to present ourselves. Mm -hmm. And... I'm looking forward to to the activities that are coming up, especially nag announce na po yung organization on what are the official activities that's gonna happen. And I'm excited to see everyone, all, all the candidates, and to to mingle with them as well. All right. So I guess um all of you uh meet each other you know in person with uh, some um activities ng Mr. Grand Philippines mm -hmm. now. Okay, question. So, sino na naging close nyo sa mga candidate? Christian, muna tayo. Um, so far, wala pa talagang super close na talagang ano eh, nag-share ng mga kung ano na sa buhay. Pero marami naman na akong naging friends sa kanila. Kagaya niya sila, RC, si Jasper, and si, si Carlo, sa Ket, si Quezon, and... Ayun, so far, sila-sila na may mga nakakausap ko. And nakasama ko sila on one of the sponsor's visit. And ayun, masaya naman ang, ano, ang mga nangyari. Uh, thank you so much, Christian. How about you, Je uh, Jeff? Sino naging kaklose mo dito sa Mr. Grand um, Philippines? We only spent two days in the photo shoot. And as I am, um, during my stay in Manila, I am very much close now with um, Bohol si Troy, uh -huh. si Melvin, kasi sila yung kasama ko lagi. And yeah, siguro I, I'm become more close with Troy now because kami yung dalawa yung talaga yung parang bisaya na bisaya na laging nagsasalita ng bisaya. So I find him comfortable to talk to. But like, yeah, with my other co-candidates, I feel ko naman, we have, we, we've talked naman, but in, I don't think Ganon ka, ka bilis talaga. Because we only spent two days. 
So maybe in sa pagbalik ko doon sa Manila siguro mas magiging close kami ng lahat. All right, thank you so much, Chef. How about you, RC? I have Sino yung usually mo nakakausap dito sa Mr. Grand? Uh, I have a lot of interactions pa with with almost everyone po, but I think the people na I'm most close with uh, not really really close because sabi nga po nila ilang days lang kami magkasama pero sinan po sina Christian sina si Jasper uh, I've spent a lot of time with them compared to the others so I'm close with them also sina close po ako kina PJ pero more on online interaction po kami nung iba ibang candidates pero I'm hoping po now we can be more closer uh, sa ating ming pong next activities Alright. Uh, Jasper, kumusta naman? Sino mga nakakausap mo dito? Same with uh, Christian and RC po. Um, we, uh, we visited uh, one of our um, sponsors. So, yun, magkakasama kami. With, um, so, then, aside from them, since, syempre po, uh, Roniel, uh, since mm-hmm. we came from the same pageant, then, Kaloy as well, since nung, um, teaser po na Mr. Grand, um, the three of us um, band already together nung uh, shoot po. So, yan. Sila, sila. Alright. Next question ko para sa inyo, guys. How do you prepare for uh, for this pageant? And uh, if you are going to rate your per, uh, your preparedness uh, saan doon? From 1 to 10. Sige, ikaw muna. Start with you, um, Jasper. Um, sorry sir, yung last qu- yung, ano po, question, sorry. Um, how do you prepare uh, for this uh, pageant, uh, Mr. Grand Philippines? And then second question, uh, when it comes to preparedness, um, scale 1 to 10, saan doon? Uh, Siyempre po, um, from King of the North pa lang, um, my body is not that... Uh, prepared po, I must say. So, uh, that is one of the things that I am really focusing on right now. And aside from my communication skills as well. So, ayun. And then, um, in scale of 1 to 10, uh, sa preparation ko ngayon, siguro po 7.5 or 7. Since, uh, one month, one month from now, palang po ata, yung, mm-hmm. Uh, siguro yung pageant. So, September pa siya. So, parang hindi pa namin nararamdaman yung pressure. So, ngayon na uh, uh, fast approaching siya, siguro, ayun, dun, ngayon ko na po nararamdaman talaga yung pressure. So, I must say, it's 7. Alright. Thank you so much, Jasper. How about you, Jeff? Um, Same question. Since this, okay. So, since this is my first national pageant, I really prepared a lot talaga from my body to my communication skills. And I also have to prepare um, emotionally since this is kind of draining in a way, siguro, na lalo na um, fast approaching yung um, um, pageant. So, since we have to prepare a lot talaga and I have, I am bracing myself na talagang, talagang I should be prepared holistically and lahat-lahat na ginawa ko. But, kung i rate ko yung self ko about my preparedness, I think that would be 8, siguro. Since I feel like I have some more room for improvement, and I really strive to improve and improve. Every week, I'm doing everything that I could do to really improve talaga in different aspects of the competition. Alright, thank you so much, uh, Jeff. Uh, how about you, Christian? Um, so, since nung my previous pageant, I didn't stop um, with preparing my, my body. And right now, um, I'm focusing on, on my weakness, which is uh, the Q&A and answering interviews. So I'm, I'm more focusing on that. I'm doing sessions with, with, um, with Jan Paasa, which is a coach, um, Q&A coach. So ayun yung preparation ko for now. And I would rate it um, eight. Kasi I think, yun nga, um, just like what Jasper said, I have things to improve pa. And um, I know that I'm not yet, I'm not yet that, 
perfect para mm-hmm. para sumabak na agad pero i know na magagawa ko naman yun i know that i can do it and i'll do my best all right thank you so much christian and before um let's welcome our last uh, but not the least uh, guest for today for tonight's live uh, streaming um he is representing from siki horror let's welcome jim jim well hi jim well are you there jim well jim well Press one if you're there. Press two if you're not there. Sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. And Asha. Jamuel, hello. Ano yung Wi-Fi namin? Ayan. So medyo maano yung ano Wi-Fi down to Jamuel. Hindi ko lang po. Okay. Sige, sige. Just a wait. Just have more time, Jamuel. So anyway, guys, Jim Well is representing um Siki Hor. And I think nasa Siki Hor siya kaya he's having a hard time with uh, when it comes to his uh, internet connections. Anyway, guys, if you have some extra extra there, you may um you may send us some stars um, if you like this video. And also please don't forget to subscribe us on our YouTube channel. And also, we are live at our YouTube channel, aside from here in a um, Facebook page. Uh, yeah. so, all right. So, Jamuel, how are you? And- Jamuel, how are you there? I'm fine, ma'am. And uh, not really stressing out at the moment. Wow. Okay. Uh, please introduce yourself to us and also state some facts about yours. Uh, again, Mama. So, please introduce yourself to us and uh, state some fun facts about yours. My name is Jamal Brown Arnais, candidate for Mr. Grand Philippines Siki Hor. I am a volleyball player um, who and who who comes from a political family um i want to say i'm a really really outgoing person and a really adventurous person i have a compassionate heart for everyone who has problems and who are facing uh any kind of problems especially depression or mental illnesses because of uh, because of covid right now and yeah that is me i am that guy all right, thank you so much and welcome to Pageant Trend, Jamwell. It's an honor, Bob. Thank you so much for um for your time and I know that you're busy for your preparation. Anyway, Jamwell, um, how old are you? I can mention an bullet. Hello, Jamwell. How how old are you, Jamwell? karon ulit ata ng ano ng internet problem. Anyway, so Jamuel, balikan kita later on pag okay na yung internet mo. So let's move on to Sino ba hindi pa natatang? Si RC no R. Ayun, kita lang. Are you okay na? Okay na ba yung connection mo? So ganito talaga guys kapag naka-live there are some uh, technical problems mga ayan. Ah, uh, Jamuel, balikan kita later on ha. All right. Thank you so much, Jamuel. How about you, RC? Sabi ko na ba sa'yo? Uh, yeah, hindi ba po, hindi ba po. All right, sige. Uh, oh, my preparation for this, I rate it 10 out of 10. Because mm-hmm. me joining this pageant wasn't just grabbing an opportunity. It was all planned. Because uh, during my last pageant on uh, January, after my long hiatus from pageants, I won the I won uh, the Lakan ng Kabataang Batang Genyo 2022, and so because of that momentum, the people who asked me to be their candidate wanted to use that momentum uh, further to further the male pageant industry uh, in Batanga. So we planned to make a youth camp, and so we made the youth camp uh, Crown Empire and. 
we were eyeing from the beginning to join a national pageant. And so from that time onwards, I was always eyeing this competition, a national competition. And Mr. Grant has given me the opportunity to be competitor on a national stage. And so I'd say that I'm taking every every action that's needed so that I have the best chance of winning. I have a fitness coach. I have a QA coach. I have been watching a lot of pilot videos so that I can learn a lot from everyone. So I'd say it's a 10 out of 10. Nice, nice one. Nice one, RC. And I think you are ready to, ready to get the, the title of Mr. Grand uh, Philippines Thank 2022. You. Thank you. So anyway, best of luck. And uh, my next question to you guys. Uh -huh. This one. So aside from um, aside from this, of course, this is the most uh, important uh, ta to be tackled, uh, um, uh, which is uh, your core value uh, or what we call your advocacy. So can you please um, uh, tell us a brief uh, a brief story or reason why you choose your advocacy? Start with you, RC. I'm advocating for computer education, especially for the less privileged and the elderly. Uh, it's close to me because during this time, especially in the pandemic, uh, we have been forced to use gadgets and technology, the internet, so that we can communicate with each other and continue our daily life. And so those who are not very well versed with the technology, are not able to be a part of our daily lives today and have less opportunity, especially in work. So the elder, they are not very well uh, caught up with guidance today. So I want them to also experience uh, the, inno the innovation that is technology and also the less privileged because they don't have much access to technology. So they are also not very well versed. And I believe that we can all be educated properly with computers. We can communicate with each other better and we can be united. And it's all. All right. Thank you so much. Very nice advocacy. And let's welcome again Jim Well from Sikihor. Hi, Jim Well. Hello, hello, Paul. Ayan, medyo okay na internet niya. Okay, can you please, um, could you please uh, tell us about more? Tell, tell us about your um, advocacy. Um, okay, so my advocacy is uh, to help to help children, or not just specific children, but rather all children, to help their talents and sharpen their talents and skills, not just sports, but acting or whatsoever. We can, uh, my advocacy will help those children uh, to help them reach their dreams, which is... If they have sports that they are shy or they or they have talents that they don't or they are shy because basically they don't have the confidence yet. We um with my with my advocacy I can help them shine like a star and play like a superstar. Nice. Yan po. Oh yeah, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Jamwell from City Horror. How about you, Jasper? Could you tell us about your advocacy? Um, uh, my um, in my two years of trying or joining a pageant, I've always um, uh, stand for equitable quality education. So, um, coming from a, a middle class family or uh, or low um or should I say um poor family. Um, it is uh, one of the things that I've learned from, um, since I was a child is how to give importance in our education. So not just educate. I'm not just no. Um, um, educate normal education, but the quality one. So mm -hmm. inclusive for everyone. So as we all know, one of the problems that we um, our Philippines is struggling today is the system itself. So maybe not just. Uh, maybe we should just focus on the educational system as well. So, yun po. Um, I stand for this since we youth are are the future. So, we need to give 
um, focus more on our education so we could build better tomorrow. All right, thank you so much, uh, just for How about you, Christian? Um, for me, my advocacy is promoting active lifestyle and proper nutrition um, because um, around 27 million Filipinos are overweight and obese and, I, and this causes a lot of health problems such as diabetes, heart problems, high blood, and some cancer. And I believe that my advocacy, living a healthy lifestyle and active lifestyle could could um could could help could help in this in this problem and this this advocacy is close to my heart because i was once an overweight and i grew up struggling with my weight and it, it was one of my insecurity and when i turned to active lifestyle and eating healthy it changed my life and i achieved things that i never thought i could achieve and this is a story i want to tell everyone that you can be the best version of yourselves by by my advocacy. And this is not only for the people who are over overweight and obese and insecure about themselves, but this is also for everyone. Because I believe that my advocacy is very timely and relevant on what we are experiencing right now, which is the global pandemic. And I believe that living a healthy lifestyle is a great way to combat the COVID-19. And yeah, that's my advocacy. All right. Thank you so much, Christian, for your uh, very nice uh, advocacy. So let's hear uh, uh, from Cebu City, Jeff. Yes. Um, uh, my main advocacy, since I am a psychology major, my main advocacy revolves around mental health awareness. And, you know, during the pandemic, it doesn't just affect um, health and um, physical health. It also affected in our economy. And it also really took a toll on our mental health. And I've realized that now is the time that we should be talking about mental health. And it, is, it really matters to us. And it really has to be talked about. It, we really have to educate ourselves about our mental health because it really plays an important role in our everyday living. And as well as since we experienced the global pandemic, which really affected our physical health, I really would like to integrate our physical health to mental health to, you know, make other people realize that mental health is as important as physical health. And I am also for child welfare. As a matter of fact, I am a member of a charitable organization here in Cebu that um, seeks to feed children in our community. Uh, we also do um, weekly feeding program that we uh, we feed children in our community. We have a adopted community way back in the province in Atlantayan Cebu, and we always um, feed them and track their progress. And it's really fulfilling to see those kids, um, young kids, you know, small kids, and then they're slowly turning to you know younger and healthy kids. So that would be my advocacy, which is mental health and physical health, and as well as uh, child welfare. Nice one. Nice one, Jeff. Anyway, uh, Jeff, I'm just curious about, you know, there's a lot of beauty queens and kings, uh, you know, that are usually, ano, tawag doon, uh, kadalasan talaga na na sa mga national pageants. Uh, what's your thoughts on this? It's actually really a great pressure for me. However, I really take it take it as a challenge it's a po in a positive way because you know um, nowadays Cebu has been considered as one of the powerhouse in terms of pageants here in the Philippines and it's it's a it's a pressure for me but I see it as a challenge to strive more to to do good on what I'm doing right now to strive to become better version of myself and it really pressure me however I've realized that Cebuanos are one of the most supportive people here in the Philippines. So I don't really, it really, I don't really feel the pressure. However, I feel the support and the love of them. And it's really kind of fulfilling and nakangatama sa puso na yung mga Cebuanos are very enthusiastic in terms of pageants. Kasi the goal of this pageant is not just about for vanity naman, di ba? One of the greatest goals of pageants is our advocacy. And it's calling their attention, and it's a good thing to, you know, them drawing their attention to me. And it's, it, I'm very happy to that 
because I, uh, I, I will be able to have the opportunity to, you know, lend and talk about my advocacy. And I'm really grateful that I am in Bono because they are one of the most enthusiastic and supportive people in terms of pageantry here in the Philippines. Exactly. All right. And another thing I'm just curious about, because I have also a lot of friends from Cebu and uh, to, um, sa mga hindi pa nakakalam sa akin, um, I studied in Leyte and uh, I have also friends from Cebu and uh, they were uh, actually really um, uh, fluent in speaking in English, lalo na pag mga, mga Cebuano, Cebuana. What do you think is the main reason why they are ano, fluent in English speaking? Because when we were we are kids, when since we are kids here, we are trained to speak English, talaga. And yung dila namin in terms of Tagalog, uh -huh. it's not really that akma sa Tagalog. There are Tagalog words that is very much uncomfortable for us to say in for us as Bisaya. Because di ba Bisaya is stereotypical Bisaya. It's like yeah. mag speak kami ng Tagalog, matigas talaga, parang ganto, ganyan. So we have to adjust, but. Since we are trained and we are educated to speak English since I was, we were kids. So parang, although I'm not saying that we're really good English speakers or we're, we're mm -hmm. perfect English speakers, but I think Cebuanos are choosing speaking English rather than Tagalog because it's much, it's much comfortable for us to speak English rather than Tagalog because we're mm -hmm. not And yeah, I guess so. That's the reason. All right. So since we are talking about uh, the English uh, language, uh, this is my next question for you guys. So, so since um, uh, um, do you agree that uh, um, when you are um, uh, you know, especially representing the Philippines to the international uh, pageant or arena, is it really important to speak in English rather than to speak on our language, own language? Do you agree with that? Uh, so start with you. Um, Jeff. Um, for me, I don't think it is a really a prerequisite for us to speak English in international arena. However, it is a great opportunity for us to, you know, when we speak English, we will be able to communicate more people. However, what matters the most is your heart. It is your, you know, your passion to really talk about your advocacy, really tackle about the things that you want to talk about in our society. And I'm saying that, you know, English is a great plus to communicate because it's our universal language. However, when you are speaking your native language, it's also part of you showing your authenticity as a person and it should be celebrated. And, you know, nowadays there's Google, there's um, translator, and I guess it's, it should not be a prerequisite as long as that you have the heart about your advocacy, you have the heart as a speaker and to talk about the issues that you would like to address in a society, I think that would be a great thing. And English should not be a prerequisite about that. Nice one. Thank you so much, Jeff. And how about you, Christian? What's your thoughts on this? Um, I think that, you know, it's not, it's, I don't think we should require our Filipino delegates to speak English because uh, I don't think that speaking English is a measurement of your knowledge. So as long as you can, you know, as long as you have a purpose, as long as you can convey, um, convey your advocacy and what, and what you wanna, what you really want to say, what's your message, I think it's okay to speak your own language, and you know it's um, and be and it's important then to be proud of our heritage, our heritage and ano uh, and what we came from. So I think it's okay to speak our own language. All right. Thank you so much. And how about you, Jamuel? Is it really important to speak in English, especially when you are joining the international pageant? I think you are on mute. Okay. For me, personally, I don't really think that it is a must for you to be able to speak in English because uh, for me, one, one main, one big reason reason is, of course, you have to be proud of the country or the city that you are representing. So you have to to be authentic and show your authenticity to your to the to the, to the crowd. But which one, uh, one is by speaking by our own dialect. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't really mean that if we don't speak in English, we're uh, we're measured as a low type citizen or a low type 
pe- uh, person, but it it just basically shows who we are and what we are made of. Yeah, that that's basically it because it it shows us it sh- it shows the people. It basically shows the people or the crowd that we uh, that, that this is who we are or that is who he is. That is who she is. Basically, showing them their authenticity and showing them that this is us making making their own country and own city proud all right thank you so much jamuel how about you jasper what's your thought on uh, you know speaking in english uh, especially when you are joining international pageant to be completely honest sir i complete uh, i completely um agree with them mm-hmm. so it doesn't really um necessary or required to speak um English language um, on competing on an international stage. However, um, I, I think that what really matters is the message you want to convey or what you want to deliver. And But in the Philippines, as we all know, we are all competitive. And how we can say that we are we are globally competitive if we are not using our universal language. So still, it it will always be depending on the person or, or, or the people or the representative on what um, language he or she um comfortable with. So yeah, it will never be a um, requirement for someone to use that on the national, international stage. All right. Thank you so much, Jasper. How about you, RC? As a Filipino, I believe that we should be using English in international budgets. I believe so because I know that we don't have English as our native tongue, and I know that English is not a language that you can just pick up overnight. But I believe that we can we can use it to enough practice, and I believe that as Filipinos, it would show the world that we are up to the challenge maybe to speak using their own their own tongue and that we are there to communicate with them. We don't have to be fluent, totally fluent. We just have to be fluent enough to communicate our words and our heart and our intention. All right. Thank you so much. And here's another question for you guys. So if you are going to um, create uh, your own... Uh, hashtag when it comes to this um mr grand philippines 2022 journey what hashtag would you like to give to us and why start with you rc if i were to use a hashtag i would use the hashtag hashtag just a kid from batangas mm-hmm. because i wasn't really raised in the city i was raised in a small town in batangas and our town it's not really a famous tourist destination or or a famous place in general, but I believe that when I say just a kid from Batangas, it would signify that I am just someone who used to be a kid uh, from a little town in a small province, uh, which is now through hard work and perseverance is now here at the national stage. And I hope that it would inspire a lot lots of people uh, throughout the Philippines and the world. All right. Thank you so much. So, hashtag just a kid in Batangas. Tama? <laughs> yes, All right. Thank you so much. And how about you, Jasper? What hashtag would you like to share with us when it comes to your um, Mr. Grand Philippines journey? I think, sir, um, if I will be using or creating a hashtag, definitely I, um, it would be I love Sambales. Since I'm not just promoting myself here, I am promoting as well my um, community or my province. So I want them to know more about Sambales and how, um, how people, um, how genuine the people here. And of course, I would also, of course, I am representing my province, so they will um, see me or know me in the in, on the national stage. So I would st- uh, love to um, uh, use that hashtag so that my province or or my community will be um, featured as well on the, um, right. on the national stage. 
All right. Thank you so much, Jasper. How about you, Jamuel? What hashtag would you like to share with us or create uh, when it comes to your journey? Uh, you're on mute. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> It, it's it's kind of confusing with the mic, you know. So, yeah, I would my if I would be making a hashtag from this for the province that I'm representing, I would basically use continue shining, Sticky Hor, because we all know that Sticky Hor already is a known place or or a known province here in the Philippines because of its, um. It's hot spots like the beaches, the sand, and all its culture. And because of that, yes, that's what makes it famous. But with with, with this hashtag, hashtag uh, continue right, continue shining, Sikihor, it would make them grow. Uh, it would make Sikihor grow more, as it is already famous, and it will keep on getting famous, not just through its culture or not just by me representing it. Basically, but with more cultures and more hotspots, more places, more destinations to discover, and more info about that province, which is Sikihor, and that and that shows it that Sikihor is a good is a need to be famous hot a uh, need to be famous province because of its resources. All right, thank you so much, Jamuel. And how about you, Christian? Um, I think I would um, use the hashtag um, Cavite FTW, which is Cavite for the win. Mm -hmm. So ever since I started this journey, my pageant journey and representing my province, um, all I all I received was support from everyone around me. And this is not just to promote you know our place and invite people to come in and discover places that you know that you don't even think that Cavite has it but this is for the people this is for everyone who's supporting me and this time I'll do my 110% for this pageant just to to get the to get our name on top nice thank you so much Christian and uh, let's have Jeff um, if I would be able to make a hashtag about my journey in Mr. Grand Philippines, I think that would be Cebu for, this, uh, for grander things in life. Nice. Hashtag Cebu Why? for grander things in life. Because as I, uh, as, uh, as what RC mentioned, I am just like him, a simple guy way back in the province in Cebu. And I am really a shy guy. And I really, I'm a simple person way back. And however, when I joined this as my first national pageant, it made me realize that, you know, the world is so big and I got to widen my horizon as individual. And the grander things is in life is, you know, being able to travel to Manila, being able to have an opportunity to meet with um, people, different people, and also the stage and everything about Mr. Grant is grand, right? But however, it's more than just the the being able to travel more than just the stage or the prices and everything i think the real grander things in life is being able to talk about the causes that you are fighting for most especially for me i really see it as a great opportunity for me a great platform to talk about mental health and physical health and you know a great platform to talk about and influence other people to you know come out from their comfort zone widen their horizons as individuals and really capture and conquer their triumphant success as a person and that would be my greatest and grandest things in life thank you all right thank you so much jeff okay so here's another question for you guys next question what is your philosophy in life and how will you apply it during this uh, you know this time as you're competing for the mr grand philippines 2022 start with you jeff uh, i think my philosophy in life is to be grateful you know with everything that i have reached now from a simple guy as i mentioned earlier i am really shy person and it will really widen my horizons i am really grateful for all the people who really helped me along the way 
to all the people who are helping me now from the preparations, from um, the trainings and everything. You know, the only thing that I could really do right now is to be grateful with the people that I met along the way. Because regardless whether they really imparted me financially or, you know, they really helped me in the training or they just really part of my journey, is that I have to be really grateful with every one of them because, you know, in somehow, in a way, they really helped me to mold my personality as individuals and really help me to become the best versions of myself. And I have to be really grateful for everything that I've reached and I, I have achieved now. And I'm really proud and I'm really thankful for everything that and everyone who really helped me. And, you know, that's the greatest philosophy that I can have right now is just to be grateful. All right. Thank you so much. And uh, how about you? Jamwell, what's your philosophy in life? Mine would be um, succeed in silence. Because mm-hmm. uh, me before, this totally isn't me. I, I was the guy or the kid who was so small with no confidence at all. Mm-hmm. I had really many insecurities not just my face not just but also my body basically i have insecurity i had insecurities with everything and through uh, when covid happened and the, the the quarantine happened i did things that made me gain confidence and change my body and change who i am not from that skinny looking dude or the no confidence guy, but uh, but rather I changed myself into the guy with confidence, guy who is not shy anymore, guy who is still outgoing but has has the audacity to keep it going. Because if you would, if you could look into my past, you would say that you you could only say wow. Because with what I am now, with what I have achieved through those challenges that I did, and with these people who are helping me right now, with this national project, which is Mr. Grand Philippines, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. It's mm-hmm. just that I would never be me now if I continued being sluggish and I didn't achieve anything. And although there will always be haters in our lives, you just have to achieve. That's why it is achieve in silence or succeed in silence. There will always be haters, but it's only up to you. It is only up to us. It's only up to ourselves. Because at the end of the day, our only enemy is ourselves. It is whether we have to rise up and continue the challenge or sit down and give up. But me, I'm not the type of person to give up. I'm the, I'm the type of person who always continues to finish the race. And with that, with what, with, 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 be, with continuing the race, this is what I've become. This is what I have gone through with these challenges. And this is who I am now. And with that, that, that is why I'm, I'm pretty confident to say that that is my philosophy. to succeed in silence. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Jamwell. How about you, Christian? What's your philosophy in life? Um, I have this tattoo on my left arm, which says mm-hmm. "Omnia causa fun." It is it is a Latin for "everything happens for a reason," and it it has always been my philosophy in life that you know everything happens for a reason. Um, every mistake, every challenge is a um, is a lesson, and you know if if I win, I'll be so grateful. But if if I be, and and if I lose, it's okay. Um, I can accept defeat and I believe that is outstanding sportsmanship. And, you know, my, my philosophy in life I, uh, is, also a, is also a symbolism of my op- optimism. And I want to bring light to, to people who will look up to me when I win Mr. Grand. I want to bring, life, uh, I want to bring light to people who were like me, people who were insecure, who were who has struggles and now 
and now I will have the power to empower them and to bring the best version of them and you know to become better in life and yeah that, that that's my philosophy all right thank you so much Christian how about you um what's this here let's have RC oh uh, yes uh, my philosophy in life would be for the people who believes in me I will sacrifice and sacrifice is a huge word for me because every time when I was young, my, every time when I, my father, every time I was having hardship, my father would console me with, with that word. He would tell me sacrifice. Uh, he would be always telling that to me so that I would understand that in order for me to, to do what I have to do, I have to sacrifice. And so I have met a lot of people who are very supportive to me, not just in this pageant journey, but also in life. And they have given me strength to do what I have to do and to do what I must do. And they're always there to tell me that I can do what I have to do. And I've been thankful to them ever since, especially those my supporters right now, Batangas. I know that they believe in me, and so I will sacrifice. I will sacrifice comfort. I will sacrifice sleep. I will sacrifice my energy. Everything that's needed, I will sacrifice for them because they believe in me. And that is my philosophy in life. All right. Thank you so much. And let's have uh, J. Uh, let's have Jasper. Naman. What's your philosophy Sir, in life? Sir, nakikita ba ako? Yes, yes. Nakikita ka. Nakikita ba ako? Uh-uh. Sorry, sa akin kasi wala yeah. dito. So, uh-huh. ayan. Um, I think my, my philosophy in life, as we all know, we've experienced so much, we suffered so much, is just to live more in the moment. Uh-huh. Uh, because having a life that is... Um, um, live more in the moment, live more in the moment or live more in the present. Um, because dwelling on something that has already happened or has yet to occur, is meaningless and just a waste of time. So I think that we just need to accept whatever it has happened, forgive others for their mistakes and for their shortcomings, and also forgive ourselves to as well. So am, am I audible? Yes, yes, yes. We can hear you. And so, so yeah, basically you just leave... Um, you have to forgive others for their mistakes and live more in their presence and have a life um, that is worth living for. All right. Thank you so much, Jasper. And uh, one last question for you guys. Um, ito, pinaka, ano to. What is, the, what is uh, the most important part of uh, a beauty pageant for you? Uh, let's have Jasper. So according to you, what is the most important part of uh, sorry, sir, what is the beauty passion? What is the most important part of a beauty passion? Um, of course, it will always be the question and answer portion because in this segment, you will know the whip. Um, the cat, the candidate is trying to convey, um, what he want to stand for or what message. Um, he want to deliver to to everyone. So of course, um, winning a pageant, uh, it is not just about our physical attributes. It should all it should um, um our advocacy or what we stand for also matters. Or um one of the vital um or important part of joining a pageant. So I think that is something that is really important or the most important part of joining a pageant. All right. Thank you so much, Jasper. How about you, uh, Jeff? According to you, what is the most important part of the beauty pageant? I think you're on mute. Sorry, sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, for me, the best thing about beauty pageant is nowadays it has become a advocacy and a platform for advocacy to talk about the causes that we are fighting for and more than just about the uh, physical appearance, the, the beauty of a person and showing about your former wear, evening gown, or your sports attire, or everything that you have as a good attribute 
to your physical appearance. I think the most important thing about it is your advocacy as a person. Because, you know, when you join a pageant, you came there to to use this as a platform to become a voice for the voiceless and to talk about the causes that you are fighting for. And I guess that's the most important thing when you go to a pageant. You should come with a with a uh, with a purpose and you should be responsible about the causes that you are fighting for and you should be you know a voice to to add for others the voice for the voiceless and you should amplify amplify voices to you know to the small voices that that are not being heard in our society and that should be the most important thing that we are fighting for in beauty pageant because it is and it has becoming a great platform for us to talk about to become to become a role model to have an influence and to touch the lives of other people in our society all right thank you so much jeff how about you christian what's uh, for you what's the most important part of uh, a beauty pageant so I believe with the answer of Jeff, because he's having a lot. But yeah, it's um, pageants are not just a celebration of, you know, it's not just a celebration of physical beauty or um, in male pageants masculinity, but it's also a celebration of of our advocacies, of our purpose, and you know, um, these days I'm happy to see that you know, um, pageants are are a platform to showcase. Um, not just the winner's um, advocacy, but each and every candidate's advocacy. And that's what I am expecting, you know, to, to, to give light to each and everyone's purpose. Ayan. Thank you so much, Christian. And how about you, RC? Uh, I also believe in what they said, but I also believe that another uh, greatly important part of pageants is the representation. Uh, I believe that it is very entertaining and it's very heartwarming to see that candidates have each of their own places, their own towns, their own provinces, their own countries even to represent. And you see their characters and you see where they come from and it is all emulated in their character and how the, how the way they, they speak, how the way they move. And it is very good for everyone to watch pageants and see the representation because they have a developed sense of uh, develop a sense of appreciation for each and every one of us from different places in the world. All right. Thank you so much. And let's move on to Jamuel. Well, of course, every, for me, uh, for me, honestly, for me, Every part of a pageant is important, but the most important part of a pageant is basically representing our own city with our own advocacy. Because mm-hmm. having having to represent your city alone, having the audacity to represent your city proudly, proudly, without no doubts or without no no shyness or anything at all that is a real that is real a really big achievement a really big positive impact not just for me but also to your province or the, the place you, you're representing because of course well uh, you're not just represent with especially with this uh, with this pageant you're not just basically representing a barangay uh mm-hmm. street or whatever a school uh city or what it is but you're representing a province. It's really big. And with that province, you are also carrying your own advocacy. And the, the having, having your own ad- advocacy mix it well with your own province, both having the audacity to carry them on your own will, but, all, but of course, with the support of people who want to support you, having the audacity to do all of that is such a how can you say this it is such an a, a big opportunity that should not be wasted and that should be celebrated grandly because mm-hmm. you can can you imagine all all of that pressure um going down or going with you through your journey but you have 
the audacity, the confidence to carry all of it at will by representing your province and your advocacy on that pageant alone, that is the most exciting part for me. Because with that, it will show who you are, who you are, who you are representing, or what you are representing, and what your what your advocacy is. It shows you that this is who you are, and yes, this is what I'm capable, or th yes, this is our city or province. That is the most exciting part for me because it just showcases the the culture, basically, the culture or its existence as a province or as a candidate. All right. Thank you so much, guys. And, uh, okay, meron, meron ba ako nakalimutan hindi tawagin? So, lahat na natawag, no? Okay, so, let's move on to the next part of this uh, live streaming, which is the reading of comments and questions from our viewers. So, kanina pa naghihintay ang ating mga viewers. Pasensya na, guys, because uh, we're having a ano, question and answer portion. But now, this is your time to shine. Ika nga, sabi ni, ano, ni Jamuel. Di ba? <laughs> From Siki Hor. All right, let's have our first uh, viewer. Ayan, kanina pa nag uh, message atong si Alvin Santiago. Please vote for Mr. Cavite. Ayan. Thank you so much, Alvin, for tuning in and please don't forget to share our live. And let's have another oh, from Show My King Online Franchise, single Tapuba. <laughs> Sino ba? <laughs> Sino ba tinatanong ako ba? Yes, I'm still single. <laughs> I'm still single. Single. Charot. And uh, we have from Ace, AC and Takmanalang. Hello, Tito, watching all the way from Pampanga. Thank you so much for watching, Ace. Uh, please don't forget to share and uh, like uh, this Facebook page. And uh, let's have, uh, oh, cheering, AC, go Christian Carlo de los Santos. Uh, Thank you, supporters ni Christian. And also Warren Ramos, uh, go Zambales, just for Manala. Jasper Manalang goes on Bales. Ayan. The supporters to Jasper. And also, uh, the national director of Mr. Grand Philippines is watching right now. Sir Mark De Luna Alvero. Hello, sir. Thank you so much for tuning in. And thanks for this opportunity to get to know more about the candidates of uh, this year's Mr. Grand Philippines. Ayan. Sabi ni Ms. Shomai King. Ms. J, ganda niyo po. Thank you so much for that compliment. <laughs> Sure. Okay, another another viewer. Let's have Christina Lu. Go go, Imus Cavite. Yeah. And we have another viewer. Uh -huh, this one. Ayan. The comment. Let's see. Ano? Showmaking online franchise. Batangas za ganorn. Talaga mam. Oh oh, Batangas. Mm -hmm. And we have from Laika Murata. Super proud of you, Mr. Cavite. Ayan. And another comment from Alvin Santiago. We are proud of you. We are proud for you, Mr. Cavite. And also watching Ramil Loxin. Good evening, watching from Dumaguete City. Thank you so much for tuning in, Ramil. If you have some questions, you may comment down below, guys. And cheering Christian Christianati it's uh, Alvin Santiago again and uh, comment from AC and Tak Manalang wow Manalang pala si Jasper yes magkaapelido kayo dear and ah oh, one of the famous photographer is watching right now Eric Isaac good luck everyone Ayan. Batiin natin si Sir Eric ay sa ako. Thank you po, Sir. sir Thank Eric. you so much, Sir Eric, sir Eric for Eric. watching. Ayan. And another viewer comment from John Lemar Magnay. Go RC. Ayan. May fans si, ano, si RC. Thank you po. And another comment uh, from our viewers. Medyo ano, pa, pa juri jurit yung iba dito, pero uh, it's okay. Ayan, another from Jean Fel Pasis Tumbaga. Let's go, Batangas. Let's go, let's go, Batangas. Nice one, RC. Ayan, let's have another comment from our viewer. From 
Sofia Albert Bihaga. Go, Jeff. Nice. From Cebu. Yeah. And, uh, ayan. Sabi niya, Jeff Castro, go, die. Uh, what's, what's that? Die? Day. Yeah. That's, uh, that's die. how we die. They call us here. Uh, yeah, sa mga ano, mga endearment ng Cebuano at Cebuana. Dai, mga dai. Okay, and uh, another comment from Sofia, Jeff Lang Sakalam. Nice. <laughs> Ito, Bisaya, ang comment niya. Lahira jud ni si Jeff. Uy, grabe. Ano yun? Ano ibig sabihin nun, ano, Jeff? <laughs> Baka talaga, Jeff. Uy, grabe. Parang iba, iba. Yun, ah, Okay. Right. And another comment from Alvin Santiago. Si Christian lang malakas, walang iba. Nice one. And Cebu number one from Sofia Albert Bihag. Another comment from our viewer. Let's have uh, from Shanice Yawa. Let's go Jeff. 100%. And another from... Ashley Almendras, go Jeff. Ah, sabi ni ano, sabi ni Ashley, mag-OJT pata daw. <laughs> Saan kayo mag-OJT, Jeff? mag apply pa lang. Uh, all right. Let's have another uh, viewer from Brandon Saratan. Good morning, desirable men. Good morning daw because uh, he is all the way from Trinidad and Tobago uh, is one of our regular viewers here in Pageant Trend. Good morning po. Good morning. And later on, my questions sa sa inyo. Try natin. <laughs> and uh, another comment from Shanice, uh, Shanice Yao. Wow, total package na si Jeff Castro. And uh, mahabol na comment from Sophia Albert Bihag. Bright, uh, ano? Bright aoy. Bright aoy. Right, Taoy. And Smart. let's have from Enzo Bat- Batan. Go RC Kashyap. Thank you. Yeah. Let's have another viewer. Uh-huh. Okay, that's okay. Are you ready, guys, to, uh, no, to answer the question of uh, Brandon Siratan? <laughs> Medyo mahaba to, ha? But this is just a um uh, ano ba tawag doon um a situational question. So ano may ano na kayo. Okay, ready na kayo? Okay, sige. Mukhang ready na. Let's flash this. Ito yung question ni Brandon Siratan para sa inyong lahat. The truth of the matter was she didn't had much of a choice. This had been her path for a very long time and her family depended on her. Unless she found a way to make her paintings sell for what she made per movie. So she was out of luck. Hashtag bio sweetheart. Hashtag Lexi Blake. And the question is, do you think visual and performing arts can be a career? Okay. So start with you, Jim Well. Yes, no doubt about it. Visual and performing arts can really and absolutely be a career. It may not be like being an artist or being an actor, but it is similar. And with that, looking at its looking at its um, differences and its uh, what what would you say this? It's it's uh same thing like like it, it's advantages or it's or it's doings it's basically close to each other not just through physical only but, but it, it's through performing art yes so basically it can be a career because it can it is basically also it's like a talent but for you to showcase showcase and in in order for you to showcase the result of showcasing something is either you receive prizes or you receive something greater than that, or much more common now nowadays, it's money, and with that also more also fame. So it is really quite more than qualified to be a career. All right, thank you so much, Jamuel, and let's have RC. What's your thoughts on that? 
Yes, I believe that visual and performing arts can be a career. Uh, today, with the use of social media and other online platforms, we have now more exposure than ever to our to potential customers, if you are an artist. And I do believe that even though it might not pay as much as the movies that have said, I believe that happiness is what is what you will receive in in supplement with the uh, fee that you would earn because I believe and I believe that being happy with what your work it will not feel like work at all and your happiness is priceless and so I believe that you can make a career out of the out of it and you will be happy happy so yes visual and performing arts can be a career. All right. Thank you so much. And how about you, Jeff? Um, for me, I certainly believe and I firmly believe that visual and performing arts are could be considered as a career and they are a career. And for me, in that given situation, I believe that there's nothing wrong about her and about everything about the situations, you know, and What's something about it is that we, as a society, as people, should be more focused on giving art as an appreciation of our uh, intelligence. And we should educate ourselves that art is an intellectual property. And we should be focusing more on that rather than um, taking for granted, such as photographers nowadays, um, painters, artists, and musicians. There are a lot of people who are, you know, focusing more on visual and performing arts. And now as people in our society, we should be more acceptable in this type of careers because, you know, conventionally, we're not accepting these things as a career because we're used to careers such as doctors, teachers, and firefighters and police however nowadays should be a, a breaking point nowadays we should open our minds to appreciate more about art and start treated uh, start treat art as an intellectual property and with that i could only say that visual and performing arts are really good careers in the future all right thank you so much for that wonderful answer jeff how about you christian um, yes, I do believe that visual and performing arts can be a career. Actually, it is a career. I have some friends who are who are part of who are part of this kind of career. There are some theater actors, um, photographers, stylists, and you know, it is um, here in the Philippines. It is a fact that it is not um, financially rewarding, but they still continue doing doing their passion over the years because it's what they it's what they love to do and if you love what you're doing you wouldn't feel na you need you need it to be um you need it to be uh financially you know financially um re rewarding but but you know um it is important to do what you love and it is important to give uh, nowadays, it, it is important to give um, importance um, to give um, you know to give opportunities to these people because they they are also they are also working hard to to show to show what they what they love and to help everyone and and yeah you know, and I think and and that's what I think about it you know it's a career. And we should give importance to it. All right. Thank you so much, Christian. And how about you, um, uh, Jasper? What's your thoughts on this? Jasper, still there? Ayan, nastock up na si Jasper. Nakatulog yata. Charot. Kaya lang. <laughs> Jasper, press one if you're there, press two if you're not here. <laughs> okay, sige, I think uh, kakaroon siya ng ano, technical problem. Ayan! Okay na, sir. Hi, Jasper. Oh, ayan. Sorry, sir, I'm only using data. 
That's okay. Uh, Sige, go. Go ahead. Ayan. Uh, sorry. Nawala to rin ako. Definitely, I completely, I completely agree with uh, Christian. It is already a career. So some of my friends as well are photographers or even I myself was influenced on photography, set designers. And yeah, it's already a career. And of course, I think um, it, um, showing your creative sides or doing what you love the most can be a career because in life, it is so hard to do something that you really don't want. So just pursue what you love and just stick to the process because as um as times go as time goes by it will um definitely improve and everything will go smooth all right thank you so much jasper and also thank you so much brandon seratan for your questions to our guest for tonight's live streaming and uh, there you go so the next part of this uh live streaming is of course uh, the fast of questions so are you excited guys Oh no. <laughs> well, anyway, before we uh, we move on to the faster questions, I have a uh, one last question to all of you guys. So, so I'm gonna ask uh, you um uh, questions. So, kayong lima, iba ibang questions tayo. So this question is, would you rather? And then you will explain it why you choose this. So, all right, start with you. Um, uh, uh, let's have uh, Jasper start with you. This one question would you rather lose uh, all of your friends but keep your bff or lose your bff but keep the rest of your buds sorry sir i'm like, just... like I'm being big all right would you rather lose all of your friends but keep your bff or lose your bff but keep the rest of your buds. If, um, to be completely honest, in life you don't need um a lot of friends. You can only ha um uh, honestly you need one only because um through um in your darkest days or in the hardest time you will see um who is the genuine one and you only have one honestly. So I would rather choose to lose all of my friends and choose to, and to, to stay and stick with my BFF because at the end of the day it is me and him or her or her who will continue to help each other to grow more in a positive way all right thank you so much for that wonderful answer Jasper let's move on to Christian this question is uh, all right this one would you rather have people spread a terrible lie about uh, you or have people spread terrible but true tales about you again would you rather have people spread would you rather have people spread a terrible lie about you or people spread terrible but true tales about you um, I'd rather have people spread through terrible tales. Is it tales? Tales, yes. Yeah, tales -E about me. Because you know, I'd rather, I'd rather. It's okay for me to for people know about my my bad decisions, my mistakes. Because just like what I said, everything happens for a reason. So if um those mistakes are lessons to me already, and those are already in the past and i think that um if people would know it i would have no i would have no problem about it because those those experiences were what what made me of who i am right now and what made me a better person so i'd rather i rather people tell um true true things about me all right thank you so much for that wonderful answer let's move on to jeff Okay, Jeff, here is, here is your final question. <laughs> well, question talaga. No? All right. Uh, would you rather solve world hunger or global warming? Well, personally, I really see global warming as a great threat to humanity. And I would probably just go with solving 
global warming because global warming includes not just about the interest of specific nations or specific countries. Global warming is about us as our humanity, our race, not just about humans, but also animals and all the living things in, in this planet. And we should always remind ourselves that we only have one Earth to live. And global problems could also be solved through diplomatic ways of, you know, in, uh, exchanging different um, opinions and having a diplomatic way of communication to solve different conflicts to different countries. However, global warming is at risk not just about us. You know, the things that are at risk in global warming is not only us, but also to everything that is living in this planet and to our future generation. So I would I would always, always choose to solve global warming. Nowadays that you know it's getting worse and it's you know the effects of global warming is inevitable nowadays. And if I would only have the opportunity to solve global warming, I would always do that. All right. Thank you so much for that wonderful answer again. Uh Jeff, uh, let's move on to RC. Okay, I see here is your question. Would you rather have a super sensitive taste buds or super sensitive hearing? Uh, I'd rather have super sensitive taste buds. Why? Uh, I don't really, I just, I chose that because I really need super sensitive hearing. I don't really need to hear everything at all and find everything that everyone is saying, uh, especially in but everyone is, a lot of people is full of hate and I really don't want to get caught up with that and I really not caught up with that and I don't really want to have any, any say in what they are saying and so I would not choose that. But I would choose uh, super sensitive taste instead because because you know food is really a an enjoyable thing to consume and spices is also something so I'd rather All right. All right. Thank you so much, RC, and let's move on to Jamwell. Jamwell, here's a question. Would you rather be able to speak any language or be able to communicate with animals? You're on my, you're on mute. <laughs> Sorry. All right. I would rather have the ability to, to be able to, uh, to understand and speak the animals. Because uh, we basically we have our, our universal language right and we can communicate with others through that and for me if someone's someone's gonna backstab me uh by using uh, and they don't want me to know about it and in in the reason and because of that they're gonna use a different language well honestly for me i i don't need and i don't want haters i don't want negative people in my life nobody wants that nobody wants it right right I would rather choose animals because they're more compassionate and they're more loving and they're more caring and they're more showy with their emotions. Simple but ba simple and basic, but honor. Uh, honor. But that that that's the best thing about animals. You you can show uh, uh, animals can show what they want to feel or what they are feeling right now to you by affection or or in whatever means. So that's why I would have uh, rather have the ability to speak with animals rather than be able to speak any, any language. All right. So you, it only means that you love animals, talaga, no? Yes, po, sobra. Ano yung ano yung pet na meron ka sa bahay niyo? So dami po. So uh, ano? I promote mo ano po? mga cats and dogs talaga po. Cats and dogs. Oh, okay. All right, so, so thank you so much for that wonderful answer, Jamwell. Let's move on to the who's most likely to. First question, who's most likely to go hiking with strangers? Sino sa inyo? Okay. 
Sige, uh, what instances is that, Jeff? Um, actually, I, there's a lot of instances na when I go hiking with different uh, people. Kasi, for example, nasa, ano, na, nasa random streets. And then, um, most especially when I'm bored, I talk to people. Um, not just about, you know, hiking into different instances. For example, in, I'm in a, in a restaurant or in a cafe. I always talk to people because I always see it as an opportunity for me to you know, to, to learn lessons from different perspectives of different individuals. And I really like doing it because, you know, for some reasons, I learn different lessons from them. And I see a different perspective about life, which I could use in my life to, you know, see life differently and see different angles and different perspective about life. And by that, I think I could learn more more lessons, which I could use to, you know, different um, different lessons and to face different challenges in my life. All right. Thank you so much. So who else uh, yung nag-raise? Ikaw lang, no, Jeff, no? Wala na. All right. Next tayo. Next question. Who's most likely to go crazy at the mall? Wala. Wala mahilig sa'yo mag-mall. <laughs> Pumunta sa mall. All right. Next question tayo. Who's most likely to go grocery shopping for one thing and come back with everything else than the one thing? Sino? Wala. Umamin na kayo. <laughs> Ayan si Christian. Sige, ano yun? <laughs> Parang guilty ako dyan kasi, you know, uh, minsan may kailangan ka lang bilhin sa, let's say, not even in the grocery or for example sa mga sa mga stores uh-huh. and then you end i usually end up buying buying a lot of stuff and i think ano na din yan eh parang strategy yun ng nakikita ko when i, I watch i watch this video na it's a, it is a mall strategy or a grocery strategy to na madaanan mo lahat ng mga possible na pwede mong bilhin and then you will end up getting it and then ma Ma-attract ka. So, ayun na. Even on the counter, when you see, habang nag-check out kami, makikita kang isang bagay na, uy, kailangan ko to. And then, kukunin mo na. And then, check out mo na. And then, pag alis mo, magugulat ka na lang. Dahil mo na pala nabili. <laughs> Totoo yan. So, so in, in other words, you are a um, false buying. A uh, false buyer. Yeah. Tama, diba? So, impulse whatever. buyer. I, yeah, I... Ano yun, guilty ako dyan, I'm an impulse buy. Pero, um, you know, I learned my lesson naman na. And I became strict with my money um, as, I grow, as I grow older. Mm, ayan. Alright, next question tayo. Who's most likely to post topless picture on their social media page? Para lahat ka. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> La- nagtaas si, ano, eto si, hindi, yung most likely talaga, ah, tawag doon yung, yung madalas, yung hindi, yung before pa, kahit hindi pa sila nag-join ng pageant. So, for sure, eto si RC. O sige, unahin muna natin si, ano, Christian. Ayan, ano yun? Um, yeah, I'm guilty also with this. I've been po- posting a lot of um, topless pictures on my social media kasi, it is i've been promoting you know my my story about also to to have to to be an inspiration a fitness inspiration to my followers and you know and syempre hindi na magpapaligoy-ligoy um it, it is also um it sells kasi to kasi as an as a brand ambassador it it gives more engagement diba to be honest and ayun it and then and also right now on the budget um i'm I, i'm posting also a top this picture for you know for more exposure and it would help you know in my promotion of myself in the pageant. all right all right thank you so much how about you rc even before ha yung hindi ka pa nagjo join sa ano yes, sa pageant uh, ano yun, when i was young when i was younger i was underweight and super skinny so mm-hmm. when i started going to the gym i started gaining confidence especially when i was receiving starting to receive compliments and so i start at one point i started posting topless pics and 
everyone and a lot of people were admiring my progress and also just like what Christian said I want to inspire others hopefully but also it's because I worked hard for my body and I am proud of it so I will post it and all right thank you all right thank you so much RC about you ikaw nagtas ka rin ba ano Jeff Oh, for, I, yeah, for yeah, me, it's, it's somehow true. Before, si, yung high school pa talaga, ako, and, mm -hmm. you know, my body before was not like this. Siguro, no, yung payat na medyo mataba, yung skinny fat na tinatawar nila. Mm -hmm. Ganun yung body ko, and I'm really confident before posting it. But now, I realized na since I started going to the gym and have shown my, I mean, have seen my progress, you know, I realized that ang payat ko pala na parang ang tabain ko na hindi ko maintindihan yung katawan ko. Kaya simula nun, I, I private those photo, photos na. And then, I'm, you, you know, ngayon, nagpo-post na ako ng topless photos to, you know, about this budget naman. Yung mga bagaw mga photos. Alright. Sino ba yung nagtaas? How about yung nagtaas ka, ka rin ba, ano? Jamuel? Laka, ano ka? Mute. <laughs> You're on mute, Jamwell. Ano ba to? Sorry. <laughs> oh, di, di ako nakaris, pero pero nagilty ako dyan. Nagil, sobrang guilty ko dyan. Kasi uh -huh. before, yung sabi ko, sabi ko nga kanina, wala akong confidence sa sarili ko. Tapos, uh -huh. pero I, I was able to post one picture when I was still skinny. <laughs> that one. And then, uh, see, looking at it now, looking at the difference, I was like, no, uh, I'ma delete it lang. So I delete, I really deleted it. Cause yeah, like I looked at myself and like I didn't, I wasn't able to to even find a guy or find a boy standing. What I found was a was a was a tree stand, a light, a really light tree standing. <laughs> Because I was so skinny back then. And that said, the difference now between me now and me before was so big. To the point like um now I'm I look like a man. Before I look like a twig. <laughs> That's the difference. <laughs> and and yeah, I after that I was kinda I was confident enough to show some of my topless photos. Uh, which were uh, no, which were uh, which I uploaded on July 2021, I think, near my birthday, and then, uh, and then the latest one is with this right now with my profile pic in uh, in Facebook, which is the uh, Mr. Na uh, the Mr. Nash Mr. Grand Nash uh, Philippines photo, my official photo, and that's and that's it, <laughs> All right, thank you so much, and another question. Who's most likely to be afraid to share their opinions in a conversation? Sino? Wala. So lahat willing mag-share ng, ano, ng opinions. Very good. That's the most important, especially when you're joining the passion. All right. So there you have it. So ayun. That was our, um, uh, what do you call this? Uh, the fast talk questions and as well as our... Uh, live streaming um, here at Pageant Trend uh, with uh, the candidates of Mr. Grand Philippines 2022. So again, uh, the the grand coronation of uh, Mr. Grand Philippines 2022 is uh, this coming September. So hindi pa na-announce sa amin kung kailan talaga yung, ano, yung, yung, yung exact date uh, and uh, venue na um, Grand Coronation Night. So, uh, so stay tuned sa uh, Pageant Trend and as well as the Mr. Grand Philippines Facebook page for more updates about their pageant and as well as please don't forget to of course to uh, support uh, the candidates of Mr. Grand Philippines 2022. So just uh, head on to Mr. Grand Philippines Facebook page and also meron silang online voting which is the bantle.ph PH. Ayan, so head on on that bantle page and, and uh, vote for your favorite candidates and uh, before we end uh, this live uh, session i will um, um 
give you the floor, guys, to promote yourself and as well as the online voting of Mr. Grand Philippines 2022 pageant. So let's start with Jamwell. It's your turn. You're on mute. Okay. <laughs> um, I would basically. I, I'm. I'm not really gonna promote myself because, but rather, I would like to thank everyone. But uh, first and foremost, I would. I will never forget this. I will um thank you, my one and only God, the Lord Jesus Christ, my God and Savior. Thank you for this life because with, with 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 this right now i am able to be this and and then secondly i would like to thank all of my supporters all of my uh managers all of my all of the people who are supporting and helping me in this journey um special shout out to kuya joven bukai my really close kuya who is also supporting me and helping me here and is official our our official Stylist for me and King, my fellow candidate, Mr. Negros Oriental. And I would like to thank everyone who has been positive with me or, or who have been give, giving me high hopes to be positive and, be, and to continue this race and to, to finish it, this race gracefully with, with, with a kind heart. And I would like to, uh, to thank the following sponsors for Mr. Grand Philippines 2022. Um, I, Idara Aesthetics, I would like to thank you. House of Victoria by Jomar Peralta, our official swimwear provider. Jagger Studios, RHM Style Studio, Mentor, Mentor, and Porfimo. And last but not least, Sin Asia International. We would like to thank you for all of your support and all of your sponsors. Uh, and I would like to say good luck, not just to me. But good luck to all of us, uh, fellow candidates, for this year. Yeah, that's all. All right. Thank you so much, Jamuel. And best of luck to you also on your journey to Mr. Grand Philippines 2022. So please don't forget to vote, Jamuel, guys. Uh, just head on to Vanta, Van, what's this? Vantel.ph and uh, search the name of Jamuel. Ayan. And uh, vote now, guys. Uh, thank you so much, Jamuel, again. And uh, let's move on to... Jasper Manala. Jasper, the floor is yours. All right. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to. Uh, first and foremost, sir, I would like to thank you for having us tonight. And of course, um, aside from that, I would like to thank uh, One Smile City Dental Center by Ma'am Jesse Malo uh, Malolas and Sir Sid uh, Dela Cruz, um, Pabaroti, Gold's Gym, PD and Co. to go travel. Um, bless um, Amare Sunset Resort in Batangas. And also, follow me on my social media platform. Um, on Facebook, just for my... Ayan, nawala si Anon Jasper. Ayan, Jasper Manala. I-follow nyo siya sa kanyang Facebook. And, uh, ayan, nakakaroon nata siya ng ano, internet problem again. Hello, Jasper. Ayan. Sorry, sir. Like, okay. ano. So, ayan. Lastly, on um, on TikTok, Miguel Diaz, and on IG, Miguel Manalang. It might be confusing, though. See, eh, pero it is the same person. Ayan. Alright. Ayan. Uh, may pa-shoutout pa pa daw ng fans mo. Ayan. Shoutout mo daw siya, si J. Facon ah, Valdez. Hello po, uh, J. Fa Facon Valdez. Um, have a good evening. Ayan. Thank you so much, Jay Facon Valdez, for tuning in. And uh, please don't forget to share our live and also follow our uh, Facebook page, Pageant Trend, and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Pageant Trend. Let's have uh, uh, Jeff. You're on mute, Jeff. <laughs> so thank you for 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 having us here and also i want to take this opportunity to thank all the people who've been supporting me to god to my family to my friends and to all the people here in cebu who are really supporting me and i would like to thank b models cebu headed by sir lyric roma 
to Sir Jan Paolo Anciano, to John Espinoza, to um to Roy C. Jade Photography, to um Style by Marbs. Thank you so much, and I would like to thank the RHM Studio and RHM Talents by Sir Ren Stuazon. Thank you so much, and thank you uh, Rai Aesthetics, and thank you Smile Works and Dental. Thank you so much for everything, and I would do my best to really represent Cebu and embody all the good qualities of a Cebuano. Thank you so much. All right. Thank. You. How about uh, your social media accounts? I my social. Let me find you. Sorry. Um, re, um. You can follow me on my Instagram, which is Jeff X Castro, and on my Facebook, Jeff Castro. So yung profile ko and dot yung naka yung link for Vantol voting and don po yon and um vote for me and hopefully you would support me on my journey and thank you so much. All right, thank you so much, Jeff, and uh, let's move on to RC. I would like to thank. Uh, the whole province of Batangas for being supportive people. And I would also like to greet my parents, of course, at home, and my friends and my family. And uh, Thank you for all your support. And also, I would like to thank uh, my beauty camp from Batangas, the premier beauty camp in Batangas, Crown Empire, uh, headed by Dr. Ron Endozo, Engineer Ginfell, uh, and others and thank you very much for all of your support and also i would like to thank my hometown Calaca Batangas for being supportive in my journey here and if you want to be a part of my journey please follow me on my facebook account uh my name is rc cash up and if you want to follow me on instagram it's rc cash up underscore underscore and if you want to follow me on twitter it's rc cash up underscore and also, my Vantal voting page link is in my Facebook Facebook profile. So, if you want to support me to help me win the crown, uh, vote for me there. Thank you very much for everyone watching today, tonight, and I hope you have a good night. All right, thank you so much, RC, and uh, let's move on to our last uh, but not the least uh, guest for tonight's live session. Let's have Christian from Cavite. So, yeah, first, I would like to thank all my friends, family, and supporters who've been with me throughout this journey. And, syempre, Christianatics, thank you so much for being there. Um, Royal Aesthetics, my official partner for, for, for my aesthetics needs. And my camp, the House of Vigere, by jumbling it and Kurt Corpus. Thank you so much. And of course, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Grant's official partners and sponsors, uh, Sarah Lee Travel and Tours, Piero Beach Resort, Famous Apparel, Jai Marsilio Photography, Joey Namayan and Bads Castor, American Institute for English, English Proficiency, Sir Mike Reyes of Manila Casting, and siyempre, Dr. Mark Alvero, our national director. And for my social media account, guys, do follow me on my Facebook, um, Christian De Los Santos, and also my Instagram account, at Christian, K-R-I-S-T-Z-A-N. And um, I'm, I'm asking for your support, guys, for, for the votings. Uh, the votings, votings is still going on, so... Just look for my name on bantel.ph and look for Mr. Grand and number 10, Cavite. Thank you. All right. How about uh, no, um, other social media accounts? Where can we find you, Christian, aside from Facebook? Uh, and, uh, uh, I do have TikTok, but uh, no, you, can do, you can follow it, Christian DS, and my YouTube channel, Christian De Los Santos. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for your time and efforts sa uh, pagdalo sa aking invitation dito sa pageant trend. And uh, there you go, guys. Uh, you have, uh, you know, watched and witnessed uh, the witty and, uh, you know, and uh, kagwapuhan ng ating guests uh, uh, ng mga candidates ng Mr. Grand Philippines 2022. If you like or if you, um, if you like them, just head on to the Mr. Grand Philippines Facebook page and uh, search
search their names and also vote for the online voting which is uh you know vantal.ph and uh, you know, searching mga names nila christian jc um jeff uh, jim well and as well as jasper ayan so vote for them and support on their journey to mr grand of philippines 2022 and before we end this live i would like to also to acknowledge um uh, the presence of uh, the national directors, uh, Dr. Mark uh, Alvero, and uh, of course, for giving this opportunity to get to know more about their candidates for this year's edition. And uh, so if you are new to our channel, YouTube channel, please don't forget to subscribe us and also please follow us here at the uh, Facebook page, Pageant Trend, and on our Instagram account uh, at Pageant Trend Official. So, Kung mapapansin nyo, medyo fewer pa lang aming followers sa Instagram account. It's because na deactivate yung aming uh, lumang account sa sa ano sa Instagram. So unfortunately, ayun, so back to back to ano basic kaming ano sa Instagram account. So we have uh, now 501 followers sa Instagram account. And still sa Facebook page, we have 451k followers and uh, more counting so sana follow nyo po yung pageant trend for more updates about pageants like uh, the Mr. Grand Philippines uh, 2022 pageant and uh, more pageants to come so there you go guys thank you so much guys uh, for tuning in and uh, marami salama sa aking guest uh, for, for tonight's live streaming which is the candidates of Mr. Grand Philippines 2022 Christian thank you, JC Tama ba? Ay, RC pala, sorry. Christian, RC, Jeff, and Jim Well, and as well as uh, Jasper. Maraming maraming salamat for your time, and uh, don't forget to support them on uh, Mr. Grand Philippines 22 journey. Thank you so much, guys, and have a nice evening. This has been Jay Barbo hosting the live interview with Mr. Grand Philippines 2022 candidates here at Pachelton. Bye, guys, and have a nice evening. See you on my next talk. Uh, uh, live streaming tomorrow. Uh, we have another batch for the Mr. Grand Philippines 2022. So stay tuned for more updates. Bye-bye. Uh, Thank you.